So I'm here with Don Bulens, CEO of Unidesk. Don, great to have you here as ever. Thank you, Michael. So obviously one of the things that came out in the survey this year, which won't surprise you, is that everything is becoming available as a service. It's a trend we've talked about for a while. Can you talk a little bit about Unidesk in the context of that and what are you doing? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, the thing that's interesting about what Unidesk is doing is we're helping companies take their legacy of Windows and the dozens to hundreds, even thousands of applications that companies have that are critical to their business and move them from client-centric to the cloud where they can be accessed from anywhere, from anything, making as available as SaaS applications, all of the legacy Windows applications that are so critical for how a company functions. And when we do that, a magical thing occurs with Unidesk, which is a radical reduction in the cost and time of operating or managing desktops and Windows and applications for users. So what's fun about this is that we're all spending all our time talking about SaaS and all these applications, but as you know, the real world is full of legacy applications. Have you got some examples of customers and the kinds of applications they're running that they have to still you know, continue to deal with in this way that need to you know, be able to get access from their tablets or use the cloud? Absolutely. You know, there is a huge, still thriving industry of independent software vendors who have built applications on the Microsoft application suite, whether it's add-ins for Office. The legal industry is a perfect example. All of their content management systems are all tightly interwoven with Windows, and they can't be unhooked. They just yep. can't be unhooked. Yep. Uh, other examples are applications that are homegrown. Heck, we have customers with applications written in Fox Pro. <laughs> Uh, and these are I'm afraid really you and I are old enough, enough to actually know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hopefully nobody yeah, you have to be as old as me to understand what that means. <laughs> uh, so they're built in Access, they're built in, uh, linked with uh, SQL, SQL client server applications. Uh, one of our customers is a state agency in Ohio, uh, and they have a fleet of vehicles that are operated by their employees. The fleet application management application which is an everyday application for everyone who's driving those vehicles, is a, uh, a homegrown application. And so, while all of these things over time may make their way into the cloud through SaaS or web, they've got to be available as key applications move to SaaS and to the cloud so that those applications can also be accessed and people can be productive with them. Uh, and that's really hugely important, and I think it's really going to cause a tremendous shift of Windows from PCs and desktops and laptops into cloud availability. And then people's expectations are going to be, how can I make that easier to manage so I can focus on more of the future of the applications I can put into the cloud and less about how much I'm having to spend on managing Windows. Because the simple fact is that half of IT staffs do desktop management, right, right? Windows desktop management and Windows application delivery and patching and updating. If you can cut the cost of that, you're going to have a faster path to the cloud for everything else. Yeah, and in fact, it's, it's interesting because a big part of what came up this year in the survey is that TCO is now getting much more attention from people. I think, you know, beyond just the competitive advantage, people actually want to see that this pays off. So, in that context, can you talk a little bit about how you're really driving the cost down and what it is that you make it? make more manageable and how that's going to be administered? Yeah, so there, you know, there's been a big move of desktops into the cloud. You know, there's a desktops uh, as a service yep. or Windows as a service, Gartner calls it. So uh, there's been a move to that. The interesting and frustrating thing for many IT people is it's actually more difficult. Right. So, you know, we've, we have many customers who made an inertia, initial try, an attempt at moving their desktops into the cloud and what they discovered was that it was more difficult to manage, more costly. Yep. The tool sets required greater expertise, not less expertise. Yep. And so what we are all about is making it possible for even the lowest skilled desktop IT staff member, someone on the help desk, yep. to be able to virtualize applications and to do so in a tremendously faster time frame. Yep. So I'll just give you one example. We have a customer who it was taking them seven hours per application to virtualize them. Yep. With one of the tools uh, from 
VMware. Yep. With Unidesk, sub a half an hour. Yep. They have 60 applications. And it's not just in, once, it's every time these applications get updated and patched. Every time you patch or update yeah. any of those applications, they projected that they'll save 2,500 hours a year. That's one and a half people yep. that, that can be put onto much more strategic projects on their staff. That's great. Well, that's a perfect example and a good way to wrap up. But let's, uh, of course, pay homage to the fact this is the future of cloud computing. So what do you think is going to be the most important thing in your area in the future that will influence you know, what's happening with cloud? I think for our area, it has to be radically simpler. And that's really the value that we are bringing. But I think in the cloud in general, one of the things that I saw in the survey is that people are finding it difficult. Lots of consulting, yes. lots of new skills that have to be developed, and certainly there are products that are coming, but I think that simplicity has to be more central to, design, to the design of what will be the winning applications and the winning platforms uh, for the cloud. That makes tons of sense, and I mean, ultimately, this is all about making things simple enough so it really is a, com a complete utility. So, exactly. Great thought. Well, let's be back here next year and see if we've got that right. Excellent. Great to have Thanks you as always. Thanks a lot.